Dear Alexander Grigorievich, thank you, of course, for your kind words about our two ministries. We are trying to fulfill as effectively as possible the strategic tasks that you and Vladimir Vladimirovich set on a regular basis in the sphere of foreign policy and to organize our foreign political activities in such a way as to provide diplomatic support for integration processes. Yesterday we signed special statements in this regard, which will direct us to always keep in mind not only the interests of Belarus and Russia separately, but also interests of Belarus and Russia as union state when strengthening coordination. Everything has been decided on the Shanghai Organization, all the agreements have been fixed. The very first act of the summit in Astana will be the official acceptance of Belarus as a full member of the SCO. Belarus will participate in the rest of the summit on an equal footing with all other members. We will report to you on other areas as well. Yesterday we spoke in detail about the UN and the OSCE. You're lucky you were not in the Council of Europe. So you did not have to leave, but the ideas that are flying in the air right now have already been voiced by both you and Vladimir Vladimirovich, Eurasian security. This idea and the discussions around it became relevant last fall in Minsk, when Belarus held the first conference on Eurasian security as the CSTO chairman. And then it was decided that Minsk would offer its platform on an annual basis to promote discussion on this topic. We actively support this. We have already received an invitation to the second conference in late October or early November. We will gladly participate. And yesterday we talked about how we can promote this concept of Eurasian security in general and involve like-minded people. I believe that the prospects are very good.